sponsored by the Power of Poison exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Well, last night we saw some truly amazing pictures of the Northern Lights down here right in West Michigan. But have you ever wondered why these spectacular displays happen in the first place? Meteorologist Michael Barron joins us now to explain why. Hey, Michael. Hey there, Kirk. Yeah, some truly awesome photos that were sent in from across West Michigan last night. This picture from the cadets in Ionia County showing the auroras that just got started really in full swing here. This photo from Margo in Holton. Another great photo from Renee in Barryton and they just kept coming. Ellie and Pearson and also Heather in Big Rapids catching great photos of the Aurora last night. But like you said, why do we even get to see these here in West Michigan? Well, it all goes back to what's going on in space. The Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field, and this is a good thing because it protects us from the charged particles, the solar wind coming off the sun. Those particles follow this magnetic field around the Earth, and instead of hitting us directly where most of the population lives, they come in at the poles where the magnetic field is the weakest. Now that energy coming in at the poles does cause some fun effects. It excites the particles in the atmosphere, causing those beautiful auroras and the different colors that we see result from different particles in the atmosphere interacting with the solar wind at different heights. Combinations of oxygen and nitrogen at different altitudes in the atmosphere creates the various colors that we see. And it was certainly a beautiful picture last night. And while there is still some chance for an aurora tonight, the weather really going to cut us off from seeing anything else additional. Lots of cloud cover building across the region as we head through this evening. Kirk.